my name is Okpa Yemi from Yemi Pidon and Co. And today we are looking at social media marketing. More so, we are going to narrow down to Facebook. So we're looking at how you can use Facebook as a social media platform to promote what to sell. Now, what to sell could be products, could be services, could be events, could be just about anything. So how do you promote on Facebook? How do you promote on Instagram? Because Facebook and Instagram, you know, they are well integrated and what you do on Facebook you can replicate on Instagram. So that's what we're looking at. Let's proceed. Uh, to promote on Facebook, you need to log into your personal Facebook profile. You know, I'm sure you have a Facebook account, so just log in. When you log in, you look for create in that in, in your in your Facebook uh, profile. There's usually a place where you have create. If you're using a desktop, you see it at the top, you know, right side. If you are using a mobile phone, just scroll down navigation and you click on the create. Now, when you click on create, it gives you some options. It asks, it, it gives you option of creating a page, creating an advert, creating uh, a group, or creating an event. Now, you click on create a page. All right. Now, when you click on create a page, don't forget where we started from. You log into your Facebook, you click on create. When you click on create, you have four options page, advert, group, event. Click on page. Now, when you click on page, it, it brings you to the next place where you choose between creating a page for your business or brand or creating a page for a community or public figure. Now, if you are creating a page for your business or brand, you pick the first option. If you are creating a page for the community or public figure, you pick the second option. Now, I'm picking the first option here. So, it will ask you a few questions like, what is the name of the page you want to create? And then what category? So let me just uh, create. Uh, let me create one. Let me say I want to create a page for video advert, uh, advert, uh, and then the category is marketing. Okay, advertising and marketing. So it will ask you a few other questions. Where is your address? You put it. Where is your city? You know, it asks you for phone number and all of that. So once you fill the simple form. You click on continue. Okay. Uh, well, if it doesn't want to take what you feel, you can always correct that part. Uh, uh, but, uh, okay. All right. Let us see. Uh oh. Okay. Let's 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 um, let's look for a company name. Let us say. A, B, C, you know, for our demonstration. Let's say we have A, B, C, Boutique. You know, let's see. So, we're trying to see how to... Okay, so once that uh, is successful, it will ask you to add a profile picture. If you have a profile picture ready, you add. If you don't have it ready, you can skip. I'm skipping because I really want to take you to the point where you're advertising. It will ask you to add a cover photo. We ask, you know, if you you should have these things anyway. You should have your the picture you'll be using for your profile picture and your cover photo. So once you've done all of that, it opens your page. Now you have a business page. So if you're advertising on Facebook, you'll be advertising on the business page you have created from within your personal page. Take note of that. Now, having created our business page, you know, you can do quite a lot, add photos, I mean, profile photo, cover photo, and all of that. But there are a few things I like you to quickly do when you open your business page. Number one, at the top right side, you will see settings. There's a whole lot to do over there. Like, that's why you're going to add your Instagram account. That's why you're going to set... Um, your messaging automations, your, your page role, where you're going to be adding people that will assist you to manage the Facebook account. Quite a lot. We have messaging, page info, template, posts, notification. Quite a lot. Quite a lot. So you'll be doing a lot there at the settings on the top right side. Now, if you also look under the cover photo, you will see uh, where we have button. Add a button. Over there, you are going to decide 
if people should call you directly from your Facebook account, from a Facebook business page, or if they should send you an, a, a message, send you an email, and all of that. Now I clicked on add a button, and I'm going to choose um, contact you. Now from contact you, you have the option of contact or send message, call now, sign up, send email. I'm going to pick call now so that people can, from within that place, just give this business a call. When you click on next, you finish. Now it will ask you to add a phone number. Take note, the first section you have to add your country code for Nigeria. We're adding two, three, four, um, and then we are adding our phone number. Uh, 7059-7093, okay? So suppose that is done, you click on finish. So we now have call now. Then after creating your business page, you will see welcome to your new page where you will see some instructions you can easily follow. Take note after creating your page, top right you see settings, go there, it's self-explanatory. Under the um, cover photo, you see add a button. You can add any of the buttons you like. Now let's go to where we're advertising. Now whatever you want to advertise, now there are two ways anyway. You can advertise the page. That is, after you've worked on the page and it's so rich, you've added your shop and all of that, all of that, you can advertise the page. So people can like your page, you know, and follow you. Now the other uh, option you have is to create individual posts that advertise your uh, individual posts that advertises your products and then you can boost those posts one by one so that's what i'm about to show you now let's say in our boutique we want to sell a particular shoe now i'm creating a post for that shoe let's say great shoe shoe at great price for instance, let's say I'm putting great show at great price. I'm going to be adding a photo, uh, a great show at great price. Okay, let's look at this. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Now, suppose I, you know, in our boutique, we sell this particular shoe. So we have great shoe at great price. Now take note, we must have written all the details we want to, you know, want people to see on the, on the particular product. Now, after every post in your uh, uh, business page, you will see bo boost post beneath it. Boost post. That's where we are going. So once you create your business account and you create your post, you have the option of boosting the post. Now what happens when you boost the post? People who are not your friends, will see it depending on how you target them if you on your normal facebook page only your friends can see what you post people who, are, who follow you and, and your friends but when you have a business page people who don't even know you can see it but you would have paid some token to facebook so when you uh, click on boost post it brings you to this place where you now set uh, uh, you do your targeting like it's asking here get more people to react or connect with potential customer. So what you see is also self-explanatory. Once you click on boost post, you see a panel where you can, you, you see the, the preview on the right, you see the settings on the left. Go through the settings one by one. If you want people to connect, want people to connect, you know, buy and stuff. Then down there, you will see where you are gonna put how much you'll be paying. And after putting the value, you will see how many people you'll be able to reach. So it's that simple. But before I leave this part, let me take you to where you will add money, because that's key. If you want to advertise on Facebook, it's not free. You'll be paying Facebook. Now, how do you add money to your Facebook account? After logging into your personal profile, creating your business page, you only need to open a new tab. So just open a new tab and go to facebook.com forward slash manage facebook.com forward slash manage when you go there it will take you to your uh, business account where you can add money to use for adverts don't forget facebook.com forward slash manage when you get there on the top left you see facebook ads and you see a toggle three of them one two three when you click on it on the far right you will see settings okay 
Under settings, you see settings, business settings, and billing. Click on billing. Now, when you click on billing, it loads your ad manager and brings up your um, your payment settings. Now, from that payment settings, you just click on. Okay, so I'm clicking on payment settings now. When you click on payment settings, it brings you to that place where you will see ad fund. Okay, ad fund, and then you just add your phone using your ATM card. So it's that simple. So once you go to facebook.com slash manage, add your money, you go back to your um, business page, create the post, and boost the post. And people who, uh, who meet, who are within the range of your targeting will be able to see your post. But the, 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 the difference between somebody succeeding with Facebook adverts and the other person who is not really getting results is targeting now if you target well you will succeed if you don't target well you won't succeed and targeting is not really something we can discuss here it's more detailed so you can always get across to us for more on on that uh, like i said um, facebook and instagram are integrated so when you are in your business page go to the upper right click on settings then when the next page opens go to the left navigation go down you will see instagram click on the instagram and then the instruction there is easy to follow. Thank you so much. Um, we hope to have you some other time when the other videos are out. You can like us on Facebook so that you can get more updates. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash YP Africa. On Instagram is the same, YP Africa. On Twitter, it's at Yemi Pidon. It's on the screen. And on YouTube, just uh, click on the subscribe button and then you are subscribed. Thank you so much.